Hi class! Good morning! I am Teacher Lori and we're going to have our lesson for today. But before that, let us stand up for the prayer class. And in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are the source of life. We thank you for all the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us another day to learn something new. Clear our mind and help us focus. Guide us and our teacher as we study and create new learning experiences. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, class. Let's have your attendance first. Let me check your attendance. Migi, Andy, very good. Lawrence and Lori Lee. Okay, very good class. We have perfect attendance for today and I'm glad everybody is perfect. Okay, we have perfect attendance and everybody is here. Now let's move on. Let us have here a picture. Okay, wow. It says here, Let's look at some pictures. Now, let's have the first picture, class. Wow! What is this picture? This is a... Okay. Earlier, that was a beautiful landscape. Okay. Next, we have... Okay, this one is a... Wow, it's a colorful butterfly. Next. Wow, I feel so hungry. This is delicious food. Good job, class. Next. Okay, we have... Okay, very good. A book. Now, class... What do we use when we look at those beautiful landscape, colorful butterflies, we also have delicious food, and a book? What sense organ did we use to look at those? We have the sense of, okay, okay, the sense of sight. Yes, we look, use our sense of sight, which is our eyes. Now, let us have here... Okay, I have a question, class. Have you experienced difficulty seeing something or feeling eye discomfort? When we say eye discomfort, it means to say you do not feel good. It's not, you do not feel great. You're not happy, okay? Because you, do, you cannot see something and there is discomfort with the eyes, okay? Now, let's have your... Okay, answers, opinions about this. Okay, I want you to raise your hands, class, and Teacher Lori is going to put it on the screen. Okay. Let's have Anna. Okay, let's have Anna's experience. Yes, Anna said, sometimes I have difficulty seeing the board in class. Okay, she has some difficulty looking at the board okay thank you so much for your opinion Anna let's have another one okay we have here Miggy okay Miggy said sometimes my eyes feel tired when I read for a long time oh it's not also very good to read books for a very long time okay let's learn about that why does Miggy feel tired, okay, and does not feel good when she, when he look at a book for a very long time? Okay, let's have another. Yes, a volunteer. Now let's put it, your answer on the board, Jomari. Yes, 
I have trouble seeing things far away. Okay, that's a very common type of discomfort. You cannot see anything from very far away. Okay, thank you so much, Jomari. And we have another Mary. Let's have Mary's answer on the board. My eyes get itchy and watery when I'm around dust or pollen. Okay, Mary's eyes is very sensitive, class. So she feels itchy. Now, thank you so much, Mary, for your opinion. And let's have another. Okay, that is your uh, answer for the question. Very good. Another. Okay, let's have Lori. Okay, we have the same name. Okay, Lori. Sometimes I get a headache if I look at the screen for too long. So this is for the gadget. So often when we use gadget for a very long time, when we play games and watch movies using our gadget, no, there is also some discomfort headache. So let us see, okay, how are we going to take care of our eyes? Because these are not good a discomfort, okay? This is not good for the eyes watching movies for a very long time using the gadget looking at uh, something like a book for a very long time and it's very dark it's also not very good so in this lesson today class we're going to learn okay all about the parts of the eye and eye care so today it's not just about eyes okay the parts of the eyes we're also going to talk about how are we going to take care of our eyes okay are you ready okay now the objectives of our lesson class is first we're going to identify and describe the parts and function of the eyes in the human body through a group activity so we're going to have group activity later demonstrate respect for the eyes by implementing healthy habits through reflection okay we're also going to have reflection for this one okay and the last one okay we're going to have here okay what picture can you see here this is the yes very good class this is the major parts of the eye we have the iris very good we have the lens, pupil, cornea, retina, and the optic nerve, okay? Let me have this one. Let us first learn about this. Okay. Okay, the first one we have the iris, okay? Where is the iris located here? Okay, teacher is going to. Okay, the parts of the eye here is the iris. So the iris is the colored part of the eye and it helps screen and control the amount of light. Okay, let's have this one. So we have here, so here, can you see this one class? Okay, so here, this part here is what we call the iris. So the iris is the colored part in front of the eye. It helps screen and control the amount of light that enters the eye. Okay, next, let's have another one. Oh, pupil. Okay, the pupil is located here. Okay, so this is the pupil. So the pupil class, okay, the pupil is the black part in the center of the eye where the light enters. So this is the Pupil. Next one. Okay, lens. This is the lens. Can you see that class? Okay, this is the lens. So the lens is that part that focuses light onto the retina, allowing us to see clearly. Okay, that is the lens. Next we have is the cornea. Okay, this part here. Okay, this part here, class, is the cornea. So it is the clear outer covering of the eye that helps to protect it and bend light so that it can be focused by the lens. Okay, next, we have the retina here. So this is the retina here. And you see that one, class? So retina is the one that receives the light from the lens. It is made up of the rods and cones 
The rods let the eye sense light while the cones help identify color. Okay, this is the retina. Next, let's have another one. The optic nerve. Okay, here, the last part here. This is the optic nerve. So the optic nerve transmits electrical impulses or nerve messages from the eye to the brain. Okay. Now, let's have here some group activity. Now, if you have listened to Teacher Lori, now I'm going to, okay, share some pictures with you, class. Okay, let me share some pictures with you. And what are you going to do is you're going to identify the pictures and what are those parts. Okay, now let's have group one and group two. Now, Teacher Lori is going to give you a few seconds okay yes here is your pictures now class start let's have 10 seconds eight seven six five four three two one time is up and let's check your answers per group let's have group number one okay okay let us have group of number one's answer here okay let me have your answers on the board okay group number one said okay yes okay group number one said that this is the iris correct this one is the pupil and the next we have is the okay we also have here the lens okay this is correct the cornea the retina and the optic nerve. Congratulations, group one. You did great. And also for group two. Okay. Good job. You have remembered the parts of the eye. Okay, let's move on. And let's have here. Now, question class. After learning about the parts of the eye and the function of the eye, let me ask you some few questions. I want to hear also your responses on this. Why the eyes are important for seeing and exploring? Let's have Anna. Okay, very good. Very good, Anna. Now, next question. Now, Let's have here. Now, the eyes allow us to see, perceive, and interpret the world around us through the detection of light and color. So that is what uh, the eyes do. Now, let's have some healthy habits to protect the eyes. So I said earlier, now this is not just about the, okay, it's not about the parts of the eye only and the function we're going to learn how to protect our eyes every day now first let me have here some few tips so resting the eyes by looking away from the screen or book after every 20 minutes of a reading or using gadgets so class so it is not good also when you are going to use your cell phone you all going to watch for straight eight hours watching and playing games no it's not good try to try to relax your eyes by okay T staying away from the gadget for every 20 minutes and even books okay next what are we going to do is we're going to eat. So eating healthy foods that are good for the eyes such as carrots. Carrots is very good for the eyes. Leafy greens and the fruits. So not only avoiding earlier, okay, looking at gadgets for a long time. Also eating habits is a very good to protect the eyes. And next, wearing glasses to protect the eyes from the harmful uv rays and going outside because it's very hot it is not good for the eyes so you're going to wear glasses okay that's very good for the eyes next do not rub the eyes and avoid infections and injuries so you're not going to do it like this so it's not very good also okay so, not rubbing the eyes to avoid infection and injuries. Now, let's have the generalization. Generalization, what is the function of the eyes? 
Yes, correct. That is a function of the eye. Now, next question. What are the parts of the eye? There are, we have learned about six parts of the eye. Let me have, yes. Okay, very good. That's a part of the eyes. Next, next question. What are the functions of each part of the eye? Okay, let's have the function of the iris. Okay, cornea, optic nerve. Okay, now let me have the next question. Okay, let's have the question earlier. Okay, okay, why? Are the eyes important? Okay, why are we learning how to protect the eyes? Now, why is the eyes important, class? What is your answer? Yes, very good. That is very important because if we have no eyes, now we cannot see the beautiful landscape. We cannot see the colorful butterflies, yummy food, and even read books and watch movies. We cannot do that because... We did not protect our eyes. Okay, it's very important. Next, we're going to... Okay, now I'm going to teach you class how to properly clean your eyes. So how to rinse your eyeballs with water or eye wash solution. Okay, let me have the first picture. So the first one is you're going to set up a large bowl. So this must be... A large bowl and clean, clean water okay so please use clean water make sure that the water you're going to wash your face is clean okay next now what you're going to do next is you're going to submerge your face in the bowl okay you okay look at this okay look at the picture okay yes the woman submerge her face in the bowl okay that is what you're going to do next what you're going to do is okay you're going to open your eyes and rotate your eyes open your eyes and rotate okay open and when you are submerged okay at the water you're going to open your eyes and rotate your eyes and Okay, you're going to lift your face from the bowl and blink. Now, let me show you a video. Okay, so what she go she has, she has uh, used an eye wash here. Okay, let me have a video. Okay, look at her. Okay, now class, what did she do? She used a okay, KF silicone and then she have a what eye wash solution and blink her eyes inside that one so that is her way of cleaning her eyes that is also very good now class let me check if you really have learned something in this lesson i'm going to have an evaluation okay let me first show you your worksheet before you answer now this is your worksheet class now yes you're, what you're going to do is you're going to look at this one Yes, you're going to put your name, okay, and you're going to answer criteria points. The correct labeling will be four points. Accurate description of functions will be three points. Completeness of answers, three points with a total of ten points, okay? Let me have the your answer, okay? Please answer and send it to, and, okay, yes, pass the papers. Okay, now... Please answer, and I'm going to just give you a few seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, class, pass your papers to the front. Let us check your answers. 
Okay, let us check your answers, class. If you really have listened to our discussion for today. Okay, the first one. What are the fun of this function? We have the iris. Okay, if you answer that one, lens, pupil, cornea. We have the retina and the optic nerve. Now, what are the functions of these parts? Okay, first one, the iris. Okay, the iris controls. Okay, for a moment. Okay, the iris controls the amount of light. The pupil, okay, part where the light enters, okay. Lens focuses light onto the retina. That is also correct. Cornea, clear outer covering of the eye, okay. We have the next one. Where the retina contains light-sensitive cells. And the last one, we have the optic nerve carries signals from the retina to the brain. Okay. Let me have this one. Okay, for your assignment class, I want you to do an interview. Now, first, you're going to have your family member here. You, have, you can have as many as you can. Mother, father, brother, sister, cousin. You can have your grandmother if you have it. And you have grandfather. The question would be, class, what are your healthy habits for eye protection? So take it for example. Teacher Nora has an example for this one. So, example, mother was saying, wear sunglasses. She chose sunglasses that offer protection against harmful UV rays when she's outdoors, especially during the bright, sunny day. So, that would be mommy's answer for the question. And then, after this, you're going to reflect. So, again, this is not just interview. After interviewing all your family members, I want you to give a reflection. So understanding why, okay? Why Why are, do we need to protect those? Okay, we're going to answer the question now. Why do we need to protect our eyes? Okay, so that is all for today, class. Thank you so much, class, and see you again next time. Thank you, class.